Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Today I will talk about one CompTIA Security Plus question. In a forensic investigation, what type of digital data should be collected and preserved first? Here is the example. Instruction. A forensic analyst is asked to respond to an ongoing network attack on a server. Place the items below in the correct order in which the forensic analyst should preserve them. You may pause the video to give it a shot and then continue the video to check your answer. Here is the correct order. CPU cache is number one. Then, random access memory or RAM. The third step is a swap. The last step is hard drive. Let me explain. During a digital forensic investigation, we want to collect everything. When collecting evidence from computer memories, always deal with the most volatile memory before a window opportunity is gone. Then move to the least volatile. The order in which we collect evidence is called order of volatility. There's a two types of computer memory, volatile memory and non-volatile memory. Volatile memory is used to store computer programs and the data that CPU needs in real time. Volatile memory data is temporary. Data is present till the power supply is present. Volatile memory is erased once the computer is switched off. CPU cache is a small amount of memory that is part of a CPU. It is used to temporarily hold instructions and data that a CPU is likely to reuse. RAM, random access memory is also volatile. Once the power is off, everything on RAM is gone. A hard disk is example non-volatile memory. However, swap or swap space is a space on a hard drive used as a temporary location to store information when RAM is fully utilized. It's also called virtual memory because it pretends to work like RAM. The order from the most volatile memory to least volatile memory is cache, RAM, swap on the hard disk, and then hard disk. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much, and see you next time.